Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we have a lot to get to. We're here with Sarah Frazier. My friend. Uh, so great to see you. And you know what? If you love David Yontif and myself as much as I do, you want to ask us everything about our lives. What I really think of Kylie Jenner after waiting in that long crumble cookie line, David Yontif, who he's feuding with next, August 15th, you need to come to our virtual live podcast show. We are so worldwide. We love you all from Scotland to America to Australia. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for just $30. New Everyone York City time. New York City time. You're experiencing the VIP. It's on Eventbrite. People have messaged me multiple times. Where is the ticket link? Eventbrite. Search David Yontif's name. Search Sarah Frazier. Search We Don't Want to Leave Our House. Or you can easily find the link in our uh, Instagram bios right at the top. Boom. Click that. You can buy your tickets. We'll see you August 15th. And this is virtual. So no matter where. And I say New York City time. I'm dumb. I'm one of those people who is like smart about some things. But no. apparently isn't EST like isn't there another EST? I think in Australia, people have been telling me there's some other EST and that's why people missed it the first time. Now, unfortunately, there are no refunds for missing it. So when we say EST, we mean New York City time, Eastern Standard Time. But it is virtual, people. So last time we had people from Australia. It's in the morning. Everywhere you are in the world, come. This isn't just us talking and answering questions. It's actually fun. You guys interact, pajamas. I have no idea what I'm going to wear for pajamas. I will figure it out. I wore a fuzzy robe last time and uh, I don't know where I'll be, but we're going to have fun when, wherever I am at that point. God, we're going to have so much freaking fun. I cannot wait. And um, the, you get a incredible gift prize for the best pajamas. We're doing a giveaway. We're doing a prize. So buy the tickets. It's true. When they sell out, there is a max because we have to get to everyone's questions. And we might even let people ask two questions this time. Don't get too excited, but let's see. And yeah, I'm feuding with all sorts of people again. So you can go ask about that. Um, Where do you want to begin? You know where we could begin quickly? You know where we can begin quickly? Um. I was actually, I mean, I can't believe I'm on the same schedule as the singer Stinger, but I too have left the Hamptons. I'm back in the Hamptons now, but I left the Hamptons and I was in New Jersey this weekend too. I didn't post about it and say, guess where I am. But Ramona's got herself in, I mean, it's crazy. We both, I guess, was there like a, a, a plague in the Hamptons this weekend that we both fled to New Jersey, but I had to see some friends. I didn't turn my nose about it. Ramona did a post that she, uh, guess where she is? It's not Saint, It's not the Hamptons. It's not... Saint Tropez, it's New Jersey. And then the fans kind of weighed in and she was like, no, you don't understand. People from New York don't go to New Jersey. Well, Ramona, that was like 10 years ago. That was like the cool thing to say. We've all evolved since then. And did you see Melissa Gorga and Margaret Josephs, my friend, March the Sarge, have responded to Miss Ramona? We saw it on Melissa, which what did Melissa say? Something about, yeah. There's stuff happening in New Jersey or something. She said, I, I love New Jersey. New Jersey yeah. is great. And uh, Margaret uh, said something like, did you get your tech? Did you get your tetanus shots or something to that effect? So the New Jersey gals who, you know, they have other things to worry about, like their futures at this point. I got to say, uh, Margaret and Melissa, and I've talked about this ad nauseum this week in analyzing Teresa's statement and Melissa's all knows was on. They seem to really have accepted their fate of just like, this might be over and there ain't nothing we can do about it. And uh, I think it's Teresa that's really having a hard time. Uh, I think the light has finally gone on in uh, the back of that dim. <laughs> wow. Well, I know nobody. I mean, I, I don't want to be mean. Yeah, I mean, but you know, she's got to have a few brain cells because her girls, I mean, to go to, you know, University of Michigan, honey, that's top. The daughter, smart you know, kids. The daughters smart are very kids. bright. So either Joe is a genius. Now, I wouldn't think of it because, I mean, anybody with half a brain knows check fraud or you mess with the IRS. And I mean, the guy can't be that bright. I mean, he had 25 years to become a U.S. citizen. Hey, Hello. I'm bulb, not so sure. Uh, well, I think yeah. she's smarter than we give her credit for. But I have a question for you. What did awesome. you make 
of that almost like Mia culpa. Like, I don't know if that was a call to Bravo, if that was ordered by Ian. I mean, this seemed very mob like. What was up with that bizarre IG post from Teresa, not admitting that she was a part of the blogs, but that the blogs have gotten so nasty and and it all needs to stop? I mean, did you what did you make of that? Well, Sarah, you can listen to our show, which aired this past Tuesday, which was titled Teresa's Statement About Toxic R-H-O-N-J, Melissa and Fuda's Response and Major Upcoming New Jersey Rebrand. There you go. Uh, if you don't have an hour to listen to me spew off or you don't want to listen to Melissa's old nose on Monday and Tuesday, um, I'll sum it up in a nutshell, but you really should listen to that episode. Um. It was not Bravo approved. I I think it just, I think it shows weakness. That's my, I think it shows someone who is realizing in the final hour that uh, the gig might be over. The gig might be over. And I do think that Melissa and Margaret and some of the others realized this earlier in the season. You know, like when it's over and there's nothing you can do, just have fun, you know? (laughs) <laughs> that did seem like a last minute ploy. I mean, how bizarre when there's like screenshots, right? That we know she's fed the bloggers. I mean, how bizarre it's affected all of us on the cast and our families. They're attacking our children, going after our businesses. I mean, isn't, aren't you, you're like the biggest part of this. They're turning and they are turning something that is supposed to be entertainment into something very dark and toxic. This hate and toxicity has to stop. I'm asking everyone to stop engaging in any negativity towards my castmates and all of our families. Enough is enough. Love, love, love. Well, well, well hello, pot, kettle, black. I mean, are you going to? you? Gonna, yeah, I, I mean, believe. Come on, this uh, is like the I'm comments, not, of course, they're off because she knows what. You know what's really funny? Like just in a temperature check, I did a show this past week about John Fuda's criminal past And I did a show this week about, you know, I had Melissa's old nose on who is exposing a lot more about Teresa in the comment section. I got to tell you, people aren't really feeling Teresa Giudice anymore these days. Like it was really lots of Fuda people. They weren't as harsh on the food as like Teresa's got. I think people are over her a little bit. Not everyone. We have huggers in the back, you know. And by the way, huggers. You are welcome at our live show. We don't judge. We welcome all backgrounds, all political affiliations, all shapes and sizes. We like everyone here. We don't judge based on one criteria. We do not care about your politics, believe it or not. We do not care. I don't care. We're the only two in the whole country, by the way, in the whole Uh, world. It's mind-blowing to me. I I don't know who's- In the whole world, we're the only two that don't give a shit. I, I don't care if you don't, if you can't see that both sides are completely uh, corrupt, then I don't, I just, I'm good, but I don't care. I don't care about your politics. 